हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दीक्षा कर्नाटका केसे 2024 फर्स्ट मॉक अलॉटमेंट रिजल्ट्स वेयर अनाउंस यस्टरडे एंड आई होप एवरीबॉडी ऑफ यू वुड हैव चेक बाय नो राइट समबडी ऑफ यू माइट बी वेरी हैप्पी विद द कॉलेज दैट यू गॉट समबडी माइट बी लिटिल सैटिस्फाइड लिटिल डिससैटिस्फाइड इन मिडवे सम बिटवीन बट देयर माइट बी सम स्टूडेंट्स हु डिड नॉट गेट एनी सीट इन द फर्स्ट मॉक अलॉटमेंट रिजल्ट्स राइट सो यस दिस वीडियो इज कंप्लीटली डेडिकेटेड फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स who could not make it or who could not get any seat in the first mock allotment results so my students let me tell you one thing very clearly you need not worry at all okay so in this video we are going to discuss the complete step by step guide how you can um, make your option entry again from the start what changes you should make what was your mistake how can you correct it everything we will discuss so that in the next allotment you will definitely get a seat okay so please stick around and watch till the end so that you can prepare your option entry from the start and this time there should not be any mistake okay so yes let's get started so first of all what is our problem what is the objective of this video that is the students which do not get did not get any seat in the first mock allotment results so what was the wrong like what was the mistake in this case why they did not get that is very important to know so that we can solve the problem right uh, before starting let us understand why we did not get any seat in the first mock allotment results why this is important because to solve a problem first we need to know what is the cause of it right so let us understand why we did not get so that we can uh uh we can correct our mistakes okay so here first of all the main reason why you did not get the seat is your option entry is not correct okay so why the option entry is not correct or what the what are the mistakes in the option entry so there can be two uh, option two mistakes that can happen that is you did not add probable options means what you added those options or you did not add those options where you had the probability of getting the colleges those colleges you did not add that can be one type of mistake there can be a second mistake that is adding of limited number of options you might be very lazy to add options that can be one reason or you might be very over confident that okay with this 5 to 7 options i'll definitely get and you did not add it right so there can be different reasons but anyway the past is past it is gone we have to now work on our mistakes right so there are two things that you might not have the probable options and the next thing is you added limited options so if we are able to solve these two problems definitely our option entry will now be a better one and the one where we can get number uh, college in the next allotment so now let us see this is a important statement take a deep breath take a relief there is nothing to be very worried about not getting a seat now i'll tell you why first of all my students i am requesting every one of you please do not panic okay do not panic at all why because this is just a mock allotment okay it is not the final allotment that has been done it is a mock allotment the purpose of mock allotment is only to, so that the students can know their mistakes and that is why a chance is given after mock allotment to modify the options so yes we will learn from our mistakes and will correct it that's it so no need to be uh, panicking here you still can correct your option entry okay you still can change your option entry you can add colleges you can remove colleges you can make your option entry better okay so that is why i want to say that there is a second chance for all of you okay so my main motto of here is there is no need to panic don't panic at all don't get demotivated don't lose hope don't cry nothing nothing has happened okay we will be able to make it okay we'll correct the allotment we'll uh, correct the option entry then the problem will be solved okay now so here i'll be giving you a step by step guide process like what you should do exactly so that you can make a very good option entry for yourself okay so do not worry it is not a like step uh, 10 15 steps it is just a two step method okay very simple easy and all the data i'll also give you so that you can make the best option entry for yourself okay so now coming to the first step that is select colleges you know our first problem or the first mistake that we did was we did not add the probable colleges so there is a two different thing adding colleges 
okay adding colleges is one thing and adding probable colleges is something so let us understand what is this what is the meaning of adding probable colleges so probable colleges are those colleges where the cutoff of these colleges are somewhere near to your k set marks okay so if you add these colleges where the rank uh, where the cutoff matches with your rank then you will definitely get a college so our task is what now to add the probable colleges now ma'am how we will get this probable colleges how we are going to know so i'll tell you the process for that first step check your rank and if you have any category okay first check your rank what is your case at 2024 examination rank first thing determine that that is already available in your verification slip and everything you'll be getting that next step select maximum 10 to 15 colleges which fall in your rank range now let me explain what is this rank range okay what do you mean by rank range now for example suppose your rank in some in the case at exam is 10456 suppose okay then which colleges are your rank range colleges those colleges whose uh, cutoff starts from around 7000 you can approximate 7000 to or suppose i'll tell you 5000 5,000 to 10,000, whichever colleges are there, whose cutoffs are there, those colleges will be for you. Suppose your rank is 15,000, then 10,000 to 14,000, you can just approximate 5,000 back. Okay, subtract the 5,000 from your rank and 5 to 7,000 you can uh, add it. Uh, so, subtract it. So, these colleges will fall in your rank range. So, these colleges are the probable colleges for you people. Got it this one? So, next from where we will check okay i told you to one second so i told you that you have to uh, select 10 to 15 colleges which fall in your rank range now ma'am where we will get the rank range how we will find out okay for that you have to go to 2023 round 2 extended cutoff of and then you have to select colleges from there i hope all the three steps are very clear let me repeat it in simple words first check your cut uh, check your rank in case at 2024 examination second you have to select 10 to 15 options i'll tell not colleges 10 to 15 options where you can get the a seat now what do you mean by this 10 to 15 probable options means your rank and the cutoff of these branches and colleges should be between five to seven thousand difference okay so that is what you have to do first of all okay select this 10 to 15 colleges now how will you select this you have to go to the 2023 round to extended cutoff for the selected colleges okay now for example i'll tell you okay we'll erase this all so that we can see it clearly this is rns institute of technology bangalore okay so if you uh, here you see computer science okay suppose you are a general merit student so computer science cutoff is around 9112 now if you see the highest rank that has gone is around 222253 so what i can say here is the range of this college is starting from 9112 to up to 2 lakh uh yes 2 lakh 2553 so if your rank is somewhere in between these numbers or 9000 to 2 lakh if your rank is there then you can definitely select this college as one of the probable college for your options got it how to select now ma'am will be doing this for all the colleges that is there so we have helped you to some extent in this so i'll show you in our channel we have the uh, videos of top 20 colleges top 40 colleges top 60 colleges and top 100 colleges also right so just go watch this video what what is there in this video you'll be seeing the branch wise cutoff okay there is branch wise cutoff and beside that here the starting opening rank and the closing rank for the colleges are given what you have to do just watch the video at uh, 2x speed pause the wherever the college name is coming and note down these ranks okay just prepare these ranks note down this and keep it with you now after noting down so here we'll have total 60 colleges here and 60 colleges rank opening closing you wrote down from this 60 colleges take those colleges out where your rank is falling right so up to 60 colleges we have helped you next next colleges you have to do by your own okay now coming to step two that is 
prioritize your preferences okay this is very important selecting colleges you got how do you can do it how what are the steps we have to follow next is prioritize you have to arrange these options in your option entry in the correct way okay now i'll tell you what is the order for this one again we'll do with an example suppose your rank is 10456 okay probable colleges will be so you have to categorize your option entry in three categories okay first are those where there is no chance of getting these colleges no chance of getting or i can say difficult to get difficult to get second what you have to do those colleges where you might get i'll tell you with rank also might get and this the third category is definitely get okay so now here this is the criteria on this is these two are very important segment while making the option entry might get means you colleges which you may or may not get there some 50 50 chance or 60 40 chance here are those colleges where you can say almost 0 to 10% of chance and these are the colleges where it is 100% chance that you will get those colleges okay now here in this segment you need to add 10 to 15 options i'm not telling colleges 10 to 15 options okay college plus course makes one option like for example if you take bms college with computer science that is one option bms with ece that is second option college is same but two options are there right so like this you have to uh, you can do it more even that is very good so at least minimum 10 to 15 options you have to select in this range now in definitely that you will get here also you have to put 10 to 15 options here you can put around 5 to 10 options okay now for this rank suppose this is a rank of a student okay which will be the colleges which is very difficult to get those options where the cut off is below 1000 below 2000 below 3000 okay so for example bms information science is something 3456 random number just random this college is this option is bms with information science this is the cut off if you know this option is something which is not no chance of getting it so like that some 5 to 10 options you can select and keep okay now might get options suppose another bms with uh, i'll take for example uh, any artificial intelligence okay here the cut off is suppose 7545 okay this is something which you might get okay if the cut off decreases there is a chance that you might get so you have to select such options which you might get now there is one other ex uh, option suppose for example dhanan sagar college of engineering artificial intelligence cut off is 12455 this is something which you will definitely get right so these type of options you have to put at the end okay definitely get should be at the end might get should be at the middle may uh, like very less chance of getting will be at the top okay here the major thing that will play a role is this one might get one is the most important in this segment as many options you can add you should add probable there's two things you have to add your cut off should match and if you get seat in these colleges you will go and join only add those options suppose for example uh uh dsc that is data uh, sorry dhanan sagar artificial intelligence is sorry bms and ai is something which you are Uh, is falling in your rank it might get college that is in this range but for some reason maybe the fees or maybe the placement or maybe the location for some reason you are someone who is who cannot join this even if you get this college in those conditions you need not add those colleges clear first you have to set the probable colleges and you have to select and you have to add only those colleges which you will definitely go if you are a lot like if you are getting that seat now for example you are a resident of bangalore okay you are staying in bangalore suppose i'll take another example in uh, sit tumkur okay there is a branch of for example information science at a cut off of 8422 okay so this is also in the range where might get situation is there okay because your car rank is 10000 so at 8000 there is a high probability that you can get this college but for example you are someone who are not ready to leave bangalore and go out of bangalore okay you want to continue your uh, college in bangalore for some reason right so that case in that uh, case you should not add that option 
okay so these are the different factors which you consider now let us understand in in detail so key 5 to 10 colleges where there is no chance of getting the colleges that is what i explained in detail now arrange 10 to 15 colleges where you have the probability to get find 10 to 15 colleges where you will definitely get okay now here one note is there all these options must be where you are interested and might go if a seat is allotted okay if you are not interested in that then there is no point of adding that in this option entry clear so okay now i'll give you one example of making the order preferences so this is a student's uh, option entry whose rank is around 1789 okay so the student has put the round 3 cut off what you must check okay before uh, making your option entry so you see for 1700 if rv csi want at 360 so this is almost i can say very difficult option because 300 and 1700 are way far away right so i have put those colleges where getting is very difficult now you see these range 1300 1100 1310 uh, 2000 these are the colleges where there is a chance of getting because my rank is 1700 up to 1300 uh, 1400 1500 i can expect okay now you see these colleges are those options where i'll definitely get so first if 1700 my rank this is 2100 1800 4000 2000 6000 3000 these all options i'll definitely get i know so you have to add more options in this category okay where there is a chance of getting is less okay so this is how you can prepare a correct option entry now here again i'll tell you must things to do which you have to do at any cost if you want a seat in the next allotment first don't lose hope okay you know if you once you lose hope then there's no point of working on it don't lose hope nothing has happened nothing has gone still you have everything in your hand you can control whatever the result is coming okay so that is why do not lose hope invest time in doing proper research okay so don't be lazy now you know that you haven't got any seat so you have to put more efforts so there are almost 200 colleges check the cutoff of each and every college so up to 60 colleges we would have helped you we are i'll share share the link of all these videos the the opening and the closing rank is highlighted so just like it's a 30 minutes video watch it in 2x just mark the cutoff opening and closing rank and make a list 60 to 100 colleges or next next 100 colleges you have to try okay next arrange the preferences in correct order okay i have already explained you the order in detail so you have to arrange these options in that order next add a greater number of realistic options okay so which is the realistic options that might get segment okay the no, like uh, rarely get difficult to get that is a unrealistic one so here you need to add more options okay more work you have to do in this segment next don't panic if you panic everything will go mess right so do not panic stay focused stay calm nothing has gone nothing has gone still you have a chance think like this and then do the option entry okay so act smart and strategize your option entry correctly okay then there is no point of querying you have to make it you will make it the best option entry okay so yes i hope this video was helpful and uh, might give a relief for all those students who did not get any uh, college in the first mock allotment again i'll tell you students do not panic do not get demotivated it's just a small mistake that you might have done in your option entry the best thing is that there's still time to correct it okay so here also if you now do not work on this then there's like a big problem will be coming right so here we have time so it is better to mend ourselves within the time so please follow these instructions follow these steps and after this also if you have any doubt please comment down i'll definitely address it okay so thank you for watching and if you have found this video helpful if it is really it any way it has helped you to motivate you to make you relief or to make your option entry please subscribe the channel okay and all the very best for your case at option entry thank you for watching